Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Hope you guys are doing well. In my last video, I checked out all the modules and the new cabin and did some extensive testing. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. In this video, we're going to check out the weapons and do some extensive testing. Now, apologies for the late video. I was just super exhausted. And yesterday, I was streaming because there were Twitch drops on Twitch. And that was actually a good thing because I did discover a couple of bugs. The first one is with the new rocket launcher. For some odd reason... See, it's happening again. For some odd reason... It's not supposed to look like this when you shoot them. You're supposed to see like a, a flame coming out of the back of the rocket. And when it's like this, it is extremely difficult to aim in PvP. I tried it out. It was just not satisfying. And then later I tried it out again after a couple of matches. And then it worked fine and you could easily aim this. So this is a strong weapon, just it has a couple of issues. And also with this new weapon, what is it called again? The, the Morta. I discovered or in, during the stream, I saw that it was a lot stronger than what it showed on the dev, like the special test server. So I think they definitely buffed it before the launch of the major update. Hey, there we go. Look, you, we didn't see these numbers. Remember in the, in the video I did? It only did like 100 damage, 150. That was really disappointing. But yeah, it was a dev server. So usually things are uh, subject to change. It does a lot more damage now. Now, with those two items out of the way, let's start off with our first weapon, which is the Phantom Drone. Now, the Phantom Drone is our first ever spider drone. It's classified as a drone, so I'm assuming the reload module will not work with it, but the Cheetah engine should reload it a little bit faster. It sits at 1215 power score. It has six pieces of ammo. The durability is 161, and that's the durability of this box, not of the drone itself. I'll check out the drone durability in a bit. Energy drain is nine. And the mass for the upgraded version is 208 kilos. The mass of the non-upgraded box is 250 kilos. And the perk says, if the enemy destroys a spider drone, the time until the next activation of the Phantom is reduced by two times. The next launch drones will also deal 200% of the base damage and heat up enemy parts two times more efficiently. The one you get from the battle pass has less mass, a faster reload, and a faster activation speed. The box with the drone inside is the same size as all the other boxes with drones inside, like the fuse drone and the grenadier and the sidekick, so nothing new there. All right, let's first check out how long the drone is active on the battlefield. Doing some work there. <laughs> My drone's doing some work. All right, now let's check out the reload. Oh, almost activated the cheetah perk. Okay, there we go. All right, we deployed another one. Let's destroy it and see if the cheetah engine... Yep, the cheetah engine definitely speeds up the reload as well, like I mentioned earlier. There we go. All right, so next I want to see what they mean with the perk, that it will reload the next one faster. So we got a couple of drones here. I'm going to shoot them. Can't really see what's happening <laughs> while I'm editing. I'm going to have to check out the... Uh... Oh, now they deal way more damage. Look at, that. Look at them. They have like a little siren now. That means they're super deadly now. Oh, that's interesting. All right, that's quite interesting. There we go, get wrecked, dude. Now for these tests, I am using the drone code driver, so the drones have 10% more durability, drone activation time is faster, and the drone delay before attacking is also less, so it's a lot more responsive. All right, what we're going to check out now is the durability of these little bastards. 132, that's not bad. Let's confirm. 131. Let's confirm again. 132, all right. 132 durability for each little spider drone. All right, and now we're going to activate normal drones. See how effective they are. All right. They do melt quite fast. Not as fast as when they're angry, though. <laughs> yeah, not as fast as when they were angry. Yeah. All right, now we're going to make the drones a little bit angry and see how fast they can take us out. 
when they're angry. All right, let's wait for the reload. They're actually already re reloaded on my other build. All right, let's check it out. It happens so much faster when their perk is active. Holy smokes. Look at that, guys. Holy crap. That's crazy. One more thing. You can only mount three of these Phantom Drones on your build, even with the max amount of energy. We got 35 energy here. This one gives me 25. I have the Odin, which gives me 10 energy. We got 35 energy in total, and we can still only mount three of these. Because these are nine energy each. All right, next up, we have the Lucifer rocket launcher. This is a legendary rocket launcher, but it is also classified as a rocket revolver, meaning the Manitou cabin also works with this. So this thing has 20 projectiles in the chamber. It sits at 2600 power score. Hit damage is a bit low, I do agree. Explosion damage is pretty meh. Yep, I do agree with that as well. The fire rate is extremely fast. Effective range is pretty good. Accuracy is, yeah, it's pretty difficult to aim these. You only have five salvos, but you do have 100% penetration. The upgraded version has 455 durability. The normal one has 414 durability. The energy drain is 13 and the mass is 322 kilos. And the perk says it restores six projectiles in the cylinders of all Lucifers mounted on the armored car for each eight enemy parts destroyed, which I will admit it's a bit hard to keep track of, but it is fun when it happens. So the one you get from the battle pass is upgraded for more durability, a faster reload, and a faster rate of fire. The other upgrades you can get is a faster projectile speed, spread stability, explosion rate, damage, mass, and resistance to all damage. Now, since it's classified as a revolver and a rocket launcher, that means the Step Spider Cabin should also work with this. The Step Spider Cabin will increase our accuracy and projectile speed by 50%, but will lose 15% extra damage, which isn't that bad because I use the crickets with the Step Spider Cabin a lot. One quick thing, the mounting spot for these is a three x three, which is kind of awkward. You can't really put it in the center. Gun elevation is pretty good. Gun depression is also pretty decent. Third rotation speed is really impressive. Look at this, very nice. You can fire the rockets one by one or in a full volley. Which is also very nice. <laughs> Reload is quite long though. Now the perk says for every eight part destroyed on the enemy build, you will get six rockets in the chamber of both the uh, Lucifer's. Which is a little bit difficult to achieve with only one of them. But if you have two, it does become a little bit easier. Oh yeah, I think he lost most of the parts already. The reload is quite long. Yeah, so if a build doesn't really have a lot of parts anymore, you're going to have to be really conservative with your shots. Since the reload is that long. Like I mentioned, this thing also works with the Manny Tao Gambit, so we can fire once and then reload. And then we should have 20% more damage. So the Manny Tao Gambit's perk says the more rounds there are left in the cylinder, the more the reload time will be reduced up to 30%. All the reloaded ammo will deal 20% more damage. Okay, so I got that part wrong. So the last time we fired only one rocket and then used the reload perk. Let's see how fast it can reload with only one in the chamber. So next, 19 of our rounds will deal 20% more damage. Oh, you can definitely tell. <laughs> next, we're going to check out the reload with the Hadron Cabin and King Mine combo. Still feels... Oh, this is a revolver, so it's not going to work. Oops, I <laughs> forgot about that. So yeah, I always forget about this, but the Hadron's Cabin perk works with everything else except revolvers. So let's try it out with the Echo Cabin. Oh, it's quite fast. This one's going to be a tricky one to get it to reload faster. I think the new reload module might help it out a lot since we cannot use the Hadron Cabin. One more thing I want to check out. I want to see how it fires from the front. The reload animation is also pretty badass. Very nice. Alien technology, baby. 
Oh yeah, one more thing. I didn't mention it, but check it out now. See how the projectiles are different from when I showed you in the beginning of the video? So this is what it's supposed to look like. You see some smoke and some fire or some flames coming out of the back of the rocket. See, makes it a lot easier to aim like this. All right, just for funsies, let's see how much damage it does with a 10 times charge with the Catalina. All right, not bad for one volley. Should we get a second volley in? And this is what normal damage would look like. Still not too shabby, man. Not too shabby. Okay, now I'm going to do three tests. One with a normal Lucifer, one with the extra fire rate, and one with a super fast projectile speed with the spider cabin. All right, and for our last weapon, we have the Morta. The Morta is classified as a force cannon, sits at 4,600 power score. According to this graph, I know this graph is very inaccurate, but the damage seems to be decent. Explosion damage seems to be decent. Fire rate is very slow, I do agree. Effective reach is pretty good as well. Accuracy, 100%. Starting ammo is 12. Durability is 1,156 when it's upgraded. Energy drain, 23, and it's less than 1,000 kilos at 992. The one from the battle pass gives you 10% more durability, a faster reload, and a faster projectile speed. And by default, it has 1,051 durability. The other upgrades you can get is durability, less mass, damage, explosion, reload time, projectile speed, ammo reserves, and rotation speed. Now for all the tests I'm going to do with the Morta, I'm going to use the one that comes with the battle pass. So we have extra durability, a faster reload, and a faster projectile speed. Third rotation speed is kind of on the slow side, but it's nothing too bad. At least we have 360 degree of rotation. Gun elevation seems nice. Kind of hard to spot. <laughs> yeah, you can fire pretty high in the air. Gun depression is also hard to see. But I think you can fire. Yeah, you can fire pretty low. Okay, right now I have one that is non upgraded just to check out the base reload. All right, now we're going to check out the fastest possible reload. I played this one on stream and it was extremely fun. We're also going to try it out with the Deadman Cabin and a reload module, because if you only use one weapon on your build, the Deadman Cabin will speed up the reload by 20%. Now, like I said, I was using this weapon on stream last night and I was able to stop a double scorpion shot with this thing. I'll have it up on screen so you guys can see. So right now, what I want to do is I want to see what we can stop and what we can't with this thing. All right, let's first check out the scorpions versus the Morta. Right now, I have the scorpions aimed at myself. The scorpion shot got blocked. That was interesting. And you guys might not see it, and it's going to take too much work to put it, but I cannot see damage number if I shoot the projectile. It just keeps flying. I wish I knew how much damage or how much absorption the projectile had. Let's try it out with something else. All right, right now we have a double tsunami. Ah, the tsunamis could not even penetrate it. That's interesting. Let's try again. Oh, that is pretty nuts. Let's try something else. Let's try double Morta. Oh, they just fly through each other, lol. Now we have double Pulsar versus Morta. Oh, damn. That's that's crazy. It can absorb a lot. All right. If this thing can't beat it, nothing can. It's got to be tricky to aim, though. Oh, rip. <laughs> All right, before we shoot ourselves with the avalanche again, let's see if it can get stopped by a Nova shield. Ah, it can. Oh, that's interesting. Let's try again. Oh, that's good to know. Now let's try the avalanche shot. I need to shoot first. Ah, take the avalanche. Hold on. The avalanche is kind of tricky to aim. Hold on. Hold on, fellas. Hold on. Yep. Avalanche cannot penetrate it. That's interesting. Let's try again. Waiting for the reload. Oh, what the hell was that? Okay, this one's going to be a bit tricky because I have a Nova Cabin and an Aegis and both don't really work well together. So let's check it out on an Aegis. 
Okay, the Aegis does seem to be able to block it. I saw no damage there. Waiting for the reload, and then we'll try one more time. Yep, the Aegis does block it. That's interesting. That's good to know. Good to know that the shields are used. Oh, goddamn. <laughs> my, my, my laptop crashed. <laughs> Cross out too strong. All right, guys. Now, unfortunately, my laptop, I don't know what's wrong with it. it uh, I think it overheated, so I cannot do the other test. I wanted to try out this thing, a fully perked up quad arbiter to see if I could stop the projectile. I don't think so, but, you know, I'll, uh, maybe I'll try it in a future video for you guys. So the last thing I wanted to try is the Catalina with the Morta, because uh, a lot of people kept saying each shot is one charge of the Catalina. Okay, maybe not on that. I think on the Leviathan. Let's try it out on the Leviathan here. That's one charge. That's two charge. Just two charges. That's three charges. Okay, I just, that, that might be right. It might be right. Four charges. But this is a beefy build, though. This is a beefy build. Let's try it out on something smaller. Yep, it's another charge. Yeah, another charge. Each shot might, might be a charge. It's just kind of nuts. Yeah, look at that. Seven. All right, we got 10 charges. It did do a little bit of splash damage to the rear structural part. So let's see how much damage will do if you go through everything. 15 hundo, and it actually exploded because it ran out of juice. Ah, interesting, interesting. I think it can deal a certain amount of damage before it detonates. Otherwise, it'll just go through everything. All right, interesting, interesting. Damn, it goes pretty far. I know the damage fear isn't really a good representation on how much damage it will do, but let's check it out anyways. Yeah, that's that's kind of useless. Let's try it out on a random friend here. 600, not bad. So it is a smaller car, though. Here we go, that's better. Oh, damn. Now he's stuck in my garage. Haha, <laughs> you're trapped. All right, guys, well, there you have it. I think those were all the tests I could do with these new weapons. I hope you guys found this video informative. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, I hope I earned a like and a subscription to the channel. If you guys want to see more, you can click on one of these two videos over here, and I'll see you there in a minute. And if you do all of that, you can see that it's your good deed of the day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Peace.